Welcome to Supernova Stock Watch. What's the difference between real estate and rights? Investing in real estate can be scary and challenging. There are a lot of options that offer different rewards and risk levels, but many investment plans debate the best return on investments. If you are looking to invest in real estate then you should know that rights, real estate investment trusts, may be a good option for folks who are looking to tap into this sector. Rights can be a great way to invest in real estate. Unlike owning and managing the property yourself, you don't have to put in all the work. And it's possible for you to invest in different markets through one right. Direct real estate. Individuals looking for a more hands-on opportunity often invest in retail or commercial property. They might buy an apartment building, a shopping center, or any number of other properties that they can keep an eye on and make changes as they see fit. For example, if you invest in housing, direct real estate investors make money through rental income and the appreciation of their property. Depending on what type of direct investor you are, profits generated from any other type of business activity that depends on the property can be yours too. Pros of Direct Real Estate Investing One of the benefits of investing in physical property is the potential for generating substantial cash flow and taking advantage of various tax breaks. For example, allowable deductions include managing costs like utilities and general wear and tear, and larger deductions like depreciating the value of a property over its useful life. Of course, there's also the potential for price appreciation. While the real estate market increases and decreases based on the stock market, property prices are generally on an upwards trend, so you might be able to sell at a higher price in the future. The other perks of direct real estate are that you have more control over decisions than with rights. You can select only properties that match your preferences for location, property type, and financing structure. You can select your pricing, decide what type of tenant you want, and how many properties you want to buy. You can also make changes to your mortgage via refinancing when interest rates drop. Additionally, if there's anything else you need to pay for in life, new loans or credit lines with money from your home equity are an option. Cons of Direct Real Estate Investing One of the main disadvantages of direct investing is that it requires a significant amount of time and energy, sweat equity. You need to deal with tenant issues, emergencies, and liabilities. Financing can be a disadvantage too. Investors need to take out loans or mortgages, which means they are responsible for paying back the amount once the investment is complete. If there are any problems, such as if the market tanks or you have difficulty finding quality tenants, you may default on the loan and lose all your money. On the other hand, real estate does not qualify as a liquid asset, meaning that you might not be able to sell it quickly in an emergency. Rights. A lot of us are not versed in the intricacies of real estate, so choosing the correct type of property and financing can be difficult. That is why rights have shown to be very popular with investors. They take all that stress away thanks to their business model which resembles that of a stock market. There are more than 225 rights in the United States that are registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC) and trade on major stock exchanges. The combined equity market capitalization of these companies is more than $1 trillion. More than 35 countries around the world also offer them. Pros of Rights Perhaps one of the biggest advantages of rights is that individuals can access profits from real estate without the need to have their own property or finances. Investing in property funds gives you access to the real estate market without any upfront investment. You can invest from only $500, meaning it's accessible for new investors who don't have a lot of capital available. One of the major benefits to rights is that they offer a sizable total return potential. As a result of this, right managers are legally required to provide high levels of income to shareholders, which is at least 90%. They also typically have an average dividend yield of 5% or more. Rights can also grow in value as the worth of the underlying assets increases. Another great benefit of rights is the liquidity they provide. Like stocks, they can be bought and sold on exchanges, which means you can get into or out of a position when you want without any trouble. The high volume of trading also provides a level of stability, which means you can get into or out of a position when you want or need to. Cons of rights. Of course, we can assume there are some drawbacks to rights. For starters, most right dividends don't count as qualified dividends when it comes to the tax code, and will therefore be taxed at a higher rate. This is something to pay extra attention to if you have any right shares in a taxable brokerage account. Keep in mind that you can hold rights in tax-advantaged retirement accounts. Another drawback for rights is that the prices can be very sensitive to interest rates, and rising interest rates are bad for right prices. Generally, when one goes up, the other goes down, so, as an investment vehicle, they need to be monitored closely. Another drawback of rights is that they aren't usually well diversified, meaning you'll need to buy many different ones in order to have a well-balanced portfolio. Investors are diversifying their portfolios to avoid any specific property-related risks. 
This is because investing in one type of property, such as hotels, can make them vulnerable to any drastic changes in the economy or consumer buying habits. Let's look at a few monthly rights to earn monthly dividends. There are nearly 50 stocks that pay a monthly dividend. However, not all of them are worth an investor's consideration. Many didn't offer an above average dividend yield. Meanwhile, others also aren't your safest bet if the market took a turn for the worst. That limits your choices considerably. Here are three top dividend rights to consider for your real estate portfolio. Number 1, Realty Income, ticker O. Realty income is a reliable and trustworthy investment when it comes to monthly dividend stocks. They've paid out more than 620 consecutive monthly dividends so far, which is extremely impressive. In the last 25 years, Realty Income has increased its dividend over 100 times. This translates to an incredibly high level of consistency and stability. That gives this right more than 25 years of dividend increases, qualifying it as a dividend aristocrat. Realty Income has lots of room for growth. With a $12 trillion global market opportunity in the single-tenant net lease real estate space, it's an investment opportunity that's hard to ignore. Realty Income has a strong balance sheet and it's been building up its portfolio so that it can keep growing the dividend. That should mean plenty of new acquisitions to continue increased payout in 2022. With an annual total dividend of $2.96, a $50,000 investment would provide an annual dividend of $2,211.12 a year, or $184.26 a month. Number 2, Agree Realty, ticker ADC. Agree Realty is a right that specializes in long-term rental properties. They provide monthly income and are often viewed as a safe bet for dividends because they hold a lot of recurring rental income. This right owns freestanding retail properties secured by triple net leases, meaning the tenants bear the responsibility for building insurance, maintenance, and real estate taxes. One advantage this company has is that it focuses on leasing mainly to retail chains, such as grocery stores, dollar stores, and home improvement box stores. Implementing this strategy generates steady rental income and supports a monthly dividend. Agree Realty switched from a quarterly to a monthly dividend payment schedule in January 2021. With an excellent dividend track record, the right has increased its dividend at a 5.5% compound annual rate over the past decade. With an annual total dividend of $2.72, a $50,000 investment would provide an annual dividend of $2,121.60 a year, or $176.80 a month. Number 3, Stag Industrial, ticker STAG. Stag Industrial is another right that offers monthly dividends. It owns high-quality industrial properties such as warehouses and light industrial facilities which are in high demand. With the recent pandemic, a lot of people went online to do their shopping and started manufacturing again both domestically and abroad, which has helped rental rates to remain high. This in turn has allowed Stag to keep generating steadily rising rental income. Stag has been able to offer a steadily rising dividend by carrying out its expansion plans in a consistent manner. One of the company's main growth drivers has been its ability to broaden its portfolio, and it now owns more than 400 properties. This progress began over 10 years ago. While building continues steadily throughout the country, this industrial right is projecting expansion to continue. It expects $1 billion to $1.2 billion worth of property purchases each year in addition to the growing rental income from its existing properties. This should enable STAG to continue increasing steadily for the foreseeable future. With an annual total dividend of $1.46, a $50,000 investment would provide an annual dividend of $1,773 a year, or $147.75 a month. The bottom line. If you're looking for cash flow, tax breaks, or building up property value, getting a hold of real estate investments might be your best bet. Direct investment will always have more control but also more responsibility for the outcome. Rights are a good investment for those who don't have the time or money to invest in a more traditional way. They are also good for beginners, who can use rights as a starting point and then invest more deeply as they get more comfortable with the market. I enjoy sharing my insight with you and helping both of us become better traders and investors and find some level of success. You have made it to the end of my video, thank you for watching, please check out my other videos and also check out the description for great deals and sign up bonuses.